Hi everyone, I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for uh, uh, Taffy Went Dark story. Um, it's not going to be like our normal videos. Uh, pretty stressful thing happened and uh, stay tuned and you will hear that. We'll be back with normal videos uh the next time don't fake it fake it fake it Ooh. okay so we're not sure if taffy was taken or if she just got out but her pen was open this morning um right now it's about four o'clock no maybe 4 30 but um everyone's out looking for her right now and uh well we're kind of in the middle of nowhere so she could be anywhere um it's a little scary but Hopefully she'll turn up and she didn't get too far and no one took her. So what you guys just saw was basically just sheer panic and uh, a lot of anxiety and unsureness and everyone was out searching and um, yeah. About 4 a.m. we I looked out the window because every other hour I was waking up and I woke up, saw that Taffy was missing, immediately turned the lights on, uh, we ran into panic mode, everyone literally got out except for Bailey who was still in bed and we went out searching for Taffy. And we have to remember that we were in the BLM, so anything could have happened. Um, it could have been some drunk guy opening the gate to be funny, some kids messing around, or someone trying to steal her, and she panicked and just took off as far as she could. And it was definitely a very, very stressful time for all of us. Yeah, Taffy's not one to kind of go with anyone and she looks pretty easy that she could just load or be taken but i think that she would easily put up a fight definitely yeah. so i could see how she would take off for miles after that point of that happening so after looking for taffy i ran into the uh, sheriff and said that they were going to come out and take a look and that there would be an airship in the area within the hour um, and if they could look they will we also spoke to another camper who decided to send out his grandkid out in the atvs with drones looking for taffy for a couple hours i ended up getting a flat tire shortly after that and i limped it home got the tire fixed replaced went back out and ended up blowing another tire right after that so we had to give up our search this was about nine hours after she went missing so fast forward about an hour later, I ended up moving both uh, Taffy's trailer and our travel trailer closer to the edge of the road thinking that's kind of where she has to be because that's the only place I couldn't get to after losing two tires. I was, was exhausted, we were all tired and I was about to sit, lay down for a nap, for a nap, for a nap. And, and all of a sudden this black truck pulls up real fast and baby's like, Taddy, Taddy, Taffy. So I got up, went outside and I said, hey, are you missing a pony? I'm like, yeah, I am. Where? Oh, she's on the side of the freeway. I'm like, is she okay? Well, she's actually on the other side of the freeway. Looks like she's tied to the fence. I'm like, did you mind taking me? They were more than happy to let me jump into the truck and drove me about 6.4 miles to the next exit where Taffy was on the side of the freeway. I got out and ran over and as soon as she saw me, she got all excited and woke up. Then we ended up hiking about four, maybe five miles back at the camp where she was excited to see Vani greeting her with a pail of water. Happy ending, everyone ended up safe, um, unharmed. Taffy ended up okay. And we have a solution to keeping her safer than she was, <laughs> <laughs> um, which is good because we don't want any anything happening to her. We want to thank the San Bernardino uh, County Sheriffs and Barstow the high desert groups that we joined with the lost pets that helped us also um find taffy see, see you, you on, on the road, road. finally heading out of california are you ready no <laughs> after the past two weeks i don't know i'm a little nervous <laughs> well can't get any any worse right <laughs>